can I put this income statement into my worksheet? I want to see the income statement just for 2000X5, not for 2000X4 because the income statement was closed out to retained earnings and that's fine. But we want to see the activity in 2000X5. This 230,000 of retained earnings is kind of lumping in all the activity that happened on the income statement. And that's kind of fine for the indirect method where we're going to kind of back into the activity using net income. But for the direct method, it would be nice to see the line items for the income statement. So how can we do that? Well, uh, retained earn if this is retained earnings at the end of last time period, then that should be the beginning balance at the end of this time period. So we're basically going to be kind of deconstructing the statement of owner's equity here. We're going to say, well, this would be the retained earnings in the post-closing trial balance, which means that at the beginning of the year, it would have been at the same balance at the end of the prior year. So this 230, if I make this 125, and then I just add the income statement accounts, then I'm just going to add these accounts, which is the detail to the equity section, because this 158, 100 was closed out to retained earnings. And I closed out any dividends, which we're saying here, there were dividends of uh, 50, 53,600. That's what would be constructing the retained earnings. So in practice, of course, what we could do is look at retained earnings, the GL, see if there's any activity other than the closing out of net income at the end of the time period, such as dividends. And then we're going to, and then we would break that out. We 